What's up guys, my name's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be making the Berta 8237 mini skirt and I'm gonna be making it out of this Kirsten Katz fabric that I picked up at Spotlight. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> making the Berta 8237 mini skirt and I'm making it out of this fabric from Spotlight. Now to give you a little bit of information about this fabric, it is actually a furnishing fabric. Uh, so it does have a lot more structure to it. I wouldn't normally use it for clothes. However, I have used it a few times. Uh, it does give you a lot more structure to your, your garments that you're creating, but it is a lot stiffer. So I have actually washed this and uh, put fabric softener and ironed it again. Uh, and I bought it about a year ago. I actually bought a lot of this fabric, so I'm gonna have to use it for different projects because this skirt actually doesn't take uh, much more than I guess a meter worth of fabric. And because it's 150 centimeters wide as well, I can get uh, a fair bit out of the amount of fabric that I purchased. So you'll notice while I'm making this, I'll show you that I'm making it a little bit longer than what the pattern actually is. And also I've added lining rather than just using facing. So anyway, we'll get into it. We'll have a look at the pattern uh, and then we'll have a look at the instructions. And this skirt is super easy to make. So if you are new to sewing, this is a great little project for you to get into. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing first, we need to lay all the pattern pieces on the fabric. So you can see this is the back skirt and you need to cut two of those and you need to cut it on the fold because the zip is actually on the side of the skirt. Um, you will have also the front piece of the skirt, which is here. And you also need to cut that one on the fold. And that's going to go upside down on the fold because the two pieces of the skirt, the front and the back, uh, you don't have a seam down the back at all. Now you have two more pieces here, and this is the facing. Now I'm not actually going to be using any facing because I'm actually going to cut uh, two more pieces or oh, sorry, one more piece, but on the fold um, of each of these, but with a poly cotton blend uh, for the lining rather than creating facing. You do need to cut interfacing though. So the interfacing will give you a little bit more structure around the waist. Uh, and that's what uh, we'll be ironing onto uh, just around the waist to give it that structure. Not that you really need it with this fabric because it already is a very structured fabric. But anyway, I'm going to add it in and also um, add in the lining. The other reason I like to add the lining in, especially when I'm using a wool or a really um, a tougher sort of fabric like this one, or even a cotton drill, is because it gets a little bit itchy on your skin. And so when you use uh, a lining, it feels a lot nicer against your skin rather than having this itchy sort of feel. With softer cottons, it wouldn't matter as much because it's nice to wear or even with a linen, but with this fabric, uh, it won't feel nice against my skin when I'm wearing it. All right, so I'm just gonna line them all up and place them on the fabric, cut it all out, and then we'll be able to start putting our skirt together. So we've got to remember also that you wanna be putting uh, it against the fold, but also following the grain line of uh, the fabric because you don't want any um, warping with the fabric after you've washed it. So it's important to do that. Um, I'm also going to leave extra space at the bottom to make my skirt longer because the skirt uh, as is, is way too short for me to wear to work. So not that I'm very tall at all. So it would be really short on taller people. So if you are taller, make sure you leave more space if you do want a longer skirt. If you want a short skirt, a really, really tiny skirt and you've got the legs for it, go right ahead. Uh, but right now, uh, I need it a little bit longer. So I'm going to be making sure that I make the distance of the extra fabric at the bottom the same length. So you can see now I've got my two pieces. One's the front and one's the back. You'll notice that the back has the darts. So you need to sew the darts in before you do anything else. 
Uh, I'm also going to overlock all the edges before I sew anything together. I just find if you do it all at the start, um, you don't have to worry about doing it later. Um, there's no pockets in this skirt, so it does fit, uh, you know, a little bit tighter there. Um, I also have a zipper down here. Of course, I'm still not excellent at zippers. The zipper that I've put into the skirt that I'm wearing at the moment, I've uh, put it in between the lining and the um, and the fabric, so it's encased, which is a nice little finish as well. So I am getting a little bit better at zippers. Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't have enough fabric for lining, so I've had to actually cut this uh, without having the fold. So I'm going to actually have to sew the back lining together. So I've just left a enough for a seam allowance in that. Uh, and then also on the front, the lining that I had was actually not long enough. So anyway, I won't be putting the fabric and the lining together when I hem it. It's just going to have to be separate. So anyway, I should really do it properly and wait until I go and get more lining. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to um, do without. So just keep in mind that you've got to have enough fabric for your lining. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a little bit of interfacing for the top of the skirt that goes around this section here to kind of keep it in place a little bit more. Not that this fabric needs more structure because it's very structured already, uh, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. So you can see that you've got the two pieces. These actually need to be cut on the fold. I mean, they don't have to be because you're only going to iron them on anyway. So I'm just going to fold over the interfacing. Okay, so I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to lay the pieces on here. Now, if you are not having the lining in your skirt and you're just going to do the facing, you actually just need um, two more pieces of fabric or one on the fold of your actual fabric that you're using. And then you need to iron on the interfacing to your facing. But because I'm not doing that, I'm actually gonna iron this straight onto uh, the back of the fabric on the wrong side. And then I'm going to um, just include the lining. Sounds complicated, it's super easy. Okay, so I'll cut that out. So there's my two pieces of interfacing. After I've sewn the, um, the darts into the back piece, then I'll attach this to the fabric and then iron on the interfacing. Okay, so let's take a look at the first pieces that we need to do. So firstly, we have the dart, because I'm making size 10. You have a look at the size 10 and you work with that line. So I'll put the darts in now on both the lining and also the fabric. And then I'm going to also um, overlock all the edges. Okay, let's do that first. Alrighty, so I'm sewing the darts in now. And of course I've done that the wrong way. I'm just gonna pin the darts. I'm gonna start um, at the bottom of the dart. I'm gonna sew along the edge of the fabric and then start coming in. Uh, and that way, hopefully I'll avoid the puckering. You don't wanna backstitch when you're doing a dart from what I've heard off YouTube. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spread in my mind. But I was all out of hope, lost in an endless maze. The emptiness had afforded just like a void. But you broke the coldness somehow and lit up a flame. And ooh, I was not feeling hopeless. Screamed out loud because it felt impossible in my bones, like getting blood out of the stone on my own. But you came around and removed the thorn in my soul. You got it me out of the stone. Okay, that's all overlocked now. Now that I've done all of that, all I need to do now is iron on the interfacing. So this is the front piece of the skirt and it looks really big at the moment because I actually cut it probably a little bit too wide as well. 
but that's okay because I'll just make the seams smaller or larger, I guess, to make the skirt smaller. Okay, and then this is the back piece. Now you'll notice that it actually still has the darts in there. So what I'm gonna do is use my pinking shears to cut that off so it doesn't uh, fray in the wash. <laughs> So I'm going to do the same thing on the lining as well. Oh, this one. Just cut with my pinking shears. I did a really bad job on the lining with the, it's not very good at all, but no one will see it. So who cares? Okay. And as I said, I'm not perfect at this. I'm still learning. I've only been sewing for a year. Um, and also I'm being a little bit lazy because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay. So I've done that now. What I'm gonna do is I'll just pop that aside. This is the interfacing. I think it's sort of a lighter weight. It's not very stiff. Um, so I'm gonna open that one up. This one's the front one. So I'll put it away, open that up. You can kind of feel which side actually needs to be ironed on and which side is to be ironed. And all I'm gonna do is place that on the front here. I'm gonna put some pins in there so it doesn't move. And then I'm just going to put the iron on that until it's on there. I'm gonna do the other one as well for the back. And then I'll just trim it um, where it needs to go if it's a bit too long. So that's the front and I'll put the back piece on now. I'm sure the instructions say that you actually put the interfacing on before you do the darts, but I never do that. So um, just do what the instructions say because whenever I do this, I notice that it's always too long. So I'm guessing that you're supposed to put the interfacing on before you do the darts. So if you wanna do it properly and follow the instructions, do what the instructions say and not what I say. But I kinda of like to hide the darts and it kinda of irons them down a little bit. So anyway, and then I'll just chop off the edges. So that's on there now. I'm gonna go and iron it. Okay. Now I'm a little bit worried because I did actually bring in the seam quite a lot that I might actually get a bit of bulking. So I might need to go over with the overlocker again and get rid of the bulk there. Okay, so I just made the mistake that I told you not to do which was to sew the wrong side up. So I did do that. So I should unpick it, but because I've got a little bit of extra on there, I'm just gonna cut it and then neaten it up again. Because I made a mistake. Because I'm trying to go too fast. So I made that silly mistake. All right, I'm just gonna cut that. And actually what I would need to do is attach the other sides together. These sides, and then I'm gonna have to overlock it again. Okay, so the lining's completely done now. And so once uh, I hem, I'm only going to be hemming the fabric because the lining should just sit and I've already put the, uh, I've already overlocked it, so it's already finished. Okay, so back to adding in the lining now, now that I've done it right and didn't make my mistakes. You want right sides together. I haven't done a very good job with the lining at all. I'm not very happy with it. If I had waited to make this video until tomorrow, I would have had enough lining because I'll go and get some more tomorrow. But anyway, I think it will still come out okay and I don't want to waste what I've got. And I think this is an easy little project and it won't really affect my garment that much. Okay, so right sides together. You want to see if you can match up uh, the seams. So you want to match up seams on this side is where you're going to encase the zipper. So what you want to do is leave enough there and make sure that it goes along there because you're going to have to encase the zipper. You pin everything together, making sure that you align the seam. See if you can match up your darts as well to make it all align. If you actually 
put the marks where they should have gone and then also were more particular, I guess, than what I was about putting in the darts at the right spots, you should actually be able to um, match it up really easily. Might never do because I'm lazy. They usually are around about the same spot. The thing is with the lining, no one's ever gonna see it. I guess it's how, how it feels though, when you wear it. Okay, so it's not going to be actually too much more of the fabric than the lining, especially after I hem it. So actually, I probably did have enough there. Now what we're going to do, now that I've hemmed in the lining and the fabric, I'm going to sew along there and then we'll turn it over and iron it. I'm also going to trim so there's less bulk when we iron it flat. So let's sew it now. Okay, so that's done. What I'm gonna do is just go with my pinking shears and cut along there. And I'm going to do that to remove the bulk. So when I iron it flat, it won't be as bulky. I could have overlocked this, but sometimes I just like to use these. And also when you're overlooking, you're adding more cotton on there and I'm trying to remove it. So I figured cutting it and then also doing the pinking shears, make sure it won't fray. Not that it'll fray anyway, cause it's in the lining, but it'll, if it does get messed up in the wash and done. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is flip this over like so and then iron this in. So you won't see the lining. And that will be my skirt. It's actually quite long, much longer than the one I've got on. Okay, so this is the only zipper that I have that suits this outfit. And it doesn't quite fit it perfectly, but it'll do. No one will really notice the zipper. Okay, so what you need to do is, with this part of the zipper here, you need to put it upside down on the right side. Now I've tried a few different techniques of putting zippers in now that I've learned, um, but I'm just gonna go back to this way. So I'll just pin it there. I'll pin it on the front actually. And I'll put the top of the zipper right at the top of the fabric. Okay, so that's in there. And then what you need to do is on this side is you need to sort of put it open on that side. It's hard to kind of tell, but you're kind of butterflying it out so that it's on the right side, top of the fabric, just where you had the other one. So it's even. So what I need to do now is switch over to the zipper foot for uh, zippers. So that's this little one here. And hopefully that will make it a little bit easier to sew the zipper on. So I'm leaving the lining out. I'm not including that when I sew this. Now I'm actually gonna have to come back to the top part where the actual zipper is um, and do that once I pull the zipper down. Back stitch and go as close to the zipper as you can because you don't want it. the first part of the zipper because now I need to top stitch and encase it into the lining. So to do that, firstly, I need to turn it the other way around so I can show you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's the zipper there. Oh, I think I messed up a little bit there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I am 
encasing the zipper. So I've just put the zipper in. Now I'm encasing the zipper in there, but I'm folding over the lining so you don't see uh, the overlocking that I've done. And I'm just folding it over and putting it against the zipper to encase it inside. So we're so close to finishing now. All we're gonna do after we do the zipper is the hem and that's good done. So really this is such an easy project and because I've made it so many times, but it's just a really great staple uh, for my wardrobe because I can just wear it with my work shirt and um, then I've got a colorful skirt to wear with my work shirt and it's just easy. Okay, so I've encased it in there and now I'm just gonna pull it up. Stop the tension so it doesn't look very neat on the inside. I'm not doing a very good job with this skirt at all, but from the outside, you won't be able to tell, so it will be fine. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just need to fix up this part here and then him. So let's do that quickly. All right, clean that up a little bit. Okay, so as I said, the bottom pieces are going to be uneven because I can tell that one's longer than the other. And that's because when I cut it, I didn't measure them properly. So all I need to do now is go over with an overlocker and then just tidy up the edges before I hem them. Okay, so what I've done is I've just done the overlocker on the edges, down the bottom on the hem. And the reason that I did that uh, is because firstly I needed to even up the bottom so now that's even and the second reason why I needed to do that is because uh, I'm going to hem it but I'm just going to fold it over once and so I didn't want to fold it over twice to hem okay so there you are I have the skirt complete it's all hemmed up and yeah that's it all right guys, that's all from me today. Today I made the Berta 8237 mini skirt and of course I modified it and made it a little bit longer and added that lining. So it was appropriate to wear to work. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that this skirt turned out. Of course I make it over and over. I did rush it a little bit today, but in terms of the fabric, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, of course it does have that uh, stiffness because of uh, the thickness of the cotton. Uh, but I've added the lining in so it feels a lot nicer to wear because without it, furnishing fabric is not nice to wear at all. Uh, so anyway, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to leave a comment below and maybe even include any of the skirts that you've made. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you do want to check out any of my other sewing videos or if you want to check out any of my other videos on my channel, I make tech videos, uh, camping videos and a bit of photography as well. So if you want to check out any of those and support what I'm doing, make sure you go over there and have a look. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.